my channel thank you for coming back we are three weeks out I have no idea where the time has gone this prep has been amazing like it's honestly been the best prep yet and I cannot believe I'm going to be on stage in three weeks time holy moly we're having a refeed and i cannot wait i have been dieting for 16 weeks so when you are in a dieting phase your calories drop down every single week and your cardio increases so right now my carbs are extremely low and my cardio is currently at 60 minutes per day and then 15 and a half thousand steps so my expenditure is quite high and my body the past couple of weeks has been telling me that a refeed is due what is a refeed a refeed is when we increase the carbohydrates over a certain period of time each individual is totally different so you could maybe be doing your refeed over one meal or a full day which is what i'm going to be doing or two days or even having a diet break for me we're just going to be increasing the carbohydrates over a full day with the same food sources that i'm eating already just bigger portions today i will be driving to manchester i am going to be going down to meet my coach tomorrow and we are going to be training legs i am terrified <laughs> he's going to absolutely kill me so this refeed has came at the perfect time because i'm going to have the energy and i will hopefully smash it it is going to be so good but for me it's going to be a six hour drive and yeah i am so glad i'm going to have the food and the energy to do this we are just about to have meal number one does anybody else just love their morning coffee i always have mine in a huge glass now i only have one nespresso pod but i put in a huge glass just so i can get more and it lasts longer i think we're going to go for the zimbabwe Sorry guys, this is not appealing. <laughs> 300 ml of egg whites, Walden Farms and a little bit of Kernel's maple sugar. So, so, so good. I can just tell already this day is going to be nuts. I feel full already. So now I'm away to have 60 grams of baby rice, 100 grams of frozen berries and 
20 grams of nut bar. Told you not to worry But maybe that's a lie Honey, what's your hurry? Won't you stay inside? Remember not to get too close to stars They're never gonna give you love like ours Where did you go? I should know But it's cold and I don't wanna be lonely so show Organised for going to Manchester We've got fish, veg, chicken, mince, butternut squash, egg whites the beautiful green monster. You have no idea <laughs> what it meant to me when I got to try this. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I love this flavor. So, got my beautiful monsters to take away with me. Oats, whey, and my beautiful berries. All going to be going into my prep bag with my sweetener, sauces, and syrups. I am just getting meal to organise before I leave because I'm going to be travelling. I just want to get it ready in a Tupperware so I can just stop somewhere and eat while I am travelling on my way to Manchester. But holy moly, look at the amount of butternut squash in this meal. I'm away to have 500 grams, which is a whole bag of frozen butternut squash and 120 grams of fish. Oh wow. Look at that. That is some meal. <laughs> I am um, so excited for this. Today is going to be the best day ever! My maps are taking me the most ridiculous routes possible. I think my maps are being like, right, let's take Erin the longest, weirdest way to Manchester as we can because surely there's a quicker way than this. And it is now time for meal number two. The worst thing about being on prep and driving is that I need to stop the car every 30 minutes or so to go to the toilet. So this is currently stop number four. I'm outside of McDonald's. I am just away to eat my 500 grams of butternut squash and 120 grams of fish. Eat this, enjoy it, and then I'm going to get right back on the road and continue my journey. How annoying. My prep bag needs its seatbelt on. <laughs> oh. Now five o'clock and I am on the hunt for rice cakes. I think I have stopped in four different garages looking for rice cakes for my next meal and I cannot find them anywhere. Yay! I have been hunting for these for about two hours. I am starving, honestly. I cannot wait to eat this meal seven rice cakes and then I've got 90 grams of mince and veg. I am currently in Lancaster. I'm going to sit here, eat this, and then finally get to Manchester. Mm, 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 mm. So good. I am... Um, so happy just now. I'm away to weigh my food out. The things you have to do on prep, honestly. <laughs> yes.
I am so happy to finally be in Manchester. It is 8 o'clock and I have just arrived to my Airbnb and the place is so nice. Last year when I was on prep, I had booked an Airbnb, but instead of booking the entire house or apartment, I only paid for a room. So when I arrived, I was staying with the family. So all my prep food was in their fridge and it was a Saturday night, they were sitting in the living room drinking and I kept going back and forth to get my food and it was just so awkward. And I woke up in the morning and the guy was like, I'm really sorry, but last night I ate a bit of your fish. And I was like, oh my God, I only took the amount that I needed, I didn't take extra. So when I was traveling back home, I only had half the fish that I was supposed to eat and it kind of put me off Airbnbs for life but I gave them another chance and they are ace. So nice that you get your own kitchen, own facilities and the place to yourself and yeah, I am really happy with this Airbnb so I am away to quickly nip and get some lettuce and then I will be having my next meal. I will give you a little tour. Living space, I've even got my own little balcony. How cute is this? My kitchen, so just what I need. The bathroom's actually really nice. Kinda makes me want to have a bath. Bedroom. What a day I'm having. So first my maps wasn't taking me the motorway because I switched it off on my sat nav. So it was taking me all the back roads to get here. Then I forgot to get rice cake. So I was in every single service station trying to find him. And then when I got here, my memory card on my camera locked, so I broke the lock on my memory card and had to go find a shop to get silly tape to then put it back in my camera. So now we are here having meal number five and we have got 90 grams of chicken and veg for part one. We have 100 grams of berries and 60 grams of baby rice cooking away in there. Ooh, yay, excited. So we got some more carbs coming up. Oh yeah, look at that. Honestly, happiness in a bowl. That was amazing. It's crazy the difference in me three weeks out for this prep compared to three weeks out in my first show last April. Like, I remember I couldn't do anything. I couldn't socialise with friends. I couldn't even go around to my mum's house. I couldn't be around food. I couldn't see other people eating. I didn't want people to talk to me. I didn't reply to messages. Like, I was moody and I was complaining about everything under the sun, but I think the more you prep, the more you understand that this is a choice, we're choosing to do this, and the more you actually enjoy the process. Like, I have loved every second of this prep. My cravings have been reduced. Like, okay, I still get hungry, and I still think about foods like, oh, I wish I could have that, but I'm not like fantasizing over it. Whereas before, I would watch loads of YouTube videos of other people eating. I honestly feel like I've got so much more energy and I think because I'm not thinking about the tasks that I've got to do, I'm just getting on and doing them. It makes it a lot easier and I traveled six hours here and there's no way I could have done that three weeks out last prep. Like, it's my best friend's birthday next week and I will be going out and celebrating with her. So it just shows that your 
attitude towards prep and what you are like mentally plays a huge role on the success of your journey. It's just been amazing and I love this sport so much. No matter what happens when I go on stage, like it just means the world to me to be even doing this. Like I love the process, I love the grind, I love the structure, I just love everything about competing and I want to be in this the long run and I know by how this prep has gone I definitely will be. I am honestly so excited because I haven't had oats for so long and I bought the Yubby Sports white chocolate isolate whey and I've just been having it in shakes but James had it in his oats and he said it was amazing so I have been looking forward to this for ages and I cannot wait to try it! Ooh. This has honestly been the best day ever like if you're on prep you'll know what I mean by you just appreciate food so much more and it's the little things like having a piece of chocolate in your oats that you're like oh my god this is crazy if you're in a dieting phase it's like the best thing ever So excited to try this. So I've already melted it in a little bit. Oh my god! Holy moly, that is so good. I am not even kidding. It's just something about Galaxy, you know? Oh, it's just amazing. Oh, I am in love. This has been the best day ever. I am a way to go to bed. I am so full just now. Like, I feel so content and happy and very sleepy from all that carbs. I sleep for tomorrow because I'm training with Cal. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you've not already. Give this video a like to show me support. And yes, I will see you soon. Bye.